Well, good morning, afternoon, or evening um, on this Monday, November 6th with uh, James with Jesus. The uh, assign, assigned psalm for today is Psalm 5. Take note of my words, Yahweh. Understand my sighs. Listen to my cry for help, my ruler, my God. For it is to you that I pray. Yahweh, every morning you hear my voice. Every morning I put my requests before you and I wait. You're not a God who delights in treachery. Evil cannot live with you. Arrogant people cannot stand in your presence. You hate all who twist the truth. You destroy those who lie and abhor the bloodthirsty and deceitful. But I, because of your great love, will enter your house. I will worship in your holy temple in awe and reverence. Because of my enemies, guide me in your justice. Make straight your way before me. For nothing they say can be trusted. Their hearts teem with treacheries. Their throats are open graves, and their tongues speak nothing but deceit. Pronounce sentence on them, O God. Let them fall by their own devices. Because they fall away from your word, banish them, for they've been in open rebellion against you. But let all who take refuge in you be glad and rejoice forever. Protect them so that those who love your name will rejoice in you. As for the just, Yahweh, you surround them with the shield of your will. Well, a couple of things that struck me on reading this. Um, one is uh, human nature. Um, again, these words go back probably to, you know, 3,000 years. And... Um, the desire for truth and honesty and uh, right living towards our neighbors uh, is something that's been a human condition from the get-go. Um, I, I don't know who I was having a conversation with, but uh, we just talked about how it just seemed so foreign to us that some people just... <laughs> dedicate part of their lives to making other people's lives miserable or worse and uh, instead of um, again seeking the better uh, seeking what's best for our neighbor and and therefore what's best for ourselves so I'm not talking about when we have differences of opinion I'm not talking about even when we have disagreements or out and route um, you know head head to head conflict um, non-violent but to try to work through those things in such a way that there's minimal harm to the other. Um, I won't be able to quote you chapter or verse, but uh, again, the saying, speak the truth in love, um, what a difference that makes. So I was also thinking of just the glorious and wonderful gathering at the Sanders Abundant Blessing Farm yesterday afternoon. And we had uh, people in ranging in age, probably from about three to 80 plus, so spanning uh, almost, almost the whole life cycle. And what a joy to be around people who are encouraging each other, who are celebrating each other, who, um, again, want what's best for one another. So I have college students, and so to Rick and Cindy Sanders, so much thanks again for hosting just a marvelous, marvelous event. Um, Rick and Cindy will probably be responsible for raising up half the new generation of farmers or at least kids that love to ride a tractor and go on a hayride because <laughs> they they couldn't get enough of that yesterday so um, again just the the juxtaposition between a community of faith that has gathered together to try to um, again love God and love neighbors I emphasize with our confirmands and, and what that can look like so um, I guess to put that positive spin on it it is a joy to be around people, even if we may have disagreements or when we have disagreements and differences, to be able to listen to one another, to uh, try to understand the other's point of view. And uh, it might be that we simply say, you think chocolate is the best flavor ice cream? I think strawberry is. <laughs> but, um, well, life in community. So let's pray. Lord, thanks for this new day. Uh, thank you for the beauty that surrounds us in this fall season. Thank you for um, being able to gather in peace with one another. So we think of 
so many places in the world where people want peace, but others are just bound and determined to make life horrific. Um, so we pray for your intervention. We pray for wisdom and guidance and courage for those who seek to be peacemakers. We seek that time when everyone can live um, peaceably and uh, not in fear. So help us in our little areas of concern to also be peacemakers, to also help us be encouragers to one another, um, to show people the way that you would uh, have us follow. And this we ask and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I've got two things to show folks that want to stick around for a little bit. One is a helpful hint that was given to me as far as how to collect seeds from butterfly milkweed. And the other is just the beauty of another native plant, which is our um, oak leaf hydrangea. Um, I think it's hydrangea quercifolia or quercifolia hydrangea. Anyway, anyway, just the beauty of the fall colors. So if you want to stick around, please do. If not, I'll see you Wednesday. Okay, when co collecting butterfly milkweed seeds, uh, the pods, they open up and then they take flight, which is a way that this plant, so these will just, the wind will catch them and blow these seeds everywhere. The pod, when they're empty, looks like this. Uh, but if you want to collect the seeds, and I think I've got I think I have some examples here. I sure hope I do. Uh, well, the next thing you need to do is remember where you did this. <laughs> because the secret was you put rubber bands on them so that they don't open the whole way and you don't lose all your seed. But I'm having a hard time finding any of my rubber bands, so I hope they didn't freeze and snap. Let's go down one other place. Ah, here we go. <laughs> so these are open, so you can see they're trying to open up. They've split already, but the seeds are inside. And so instead of having this wonderful, beautiful, but mess of seeds, you have a nice clean pod to collect them in. And now to show you the oak leaf hydrangea. Um, I, I say that in our neighborhood this time of year, it looks like you're walking through a painting it just, I love this. And so this is oak leaf hydrangea. If you don't have one, um, they might be a welcome addition to your yard. The Ringheisens were kind enough to allow me to dig up some shoots a few years ago. And I now have five beautiful bushes, three out front and two out back, um, thanks to their generosity. So it's nice to be able to pass along plants when you're able to. God's peace be with you. Bye-bye.